And we are recording. Drinking a coffee. Or mo homemade mocha. Keep my throat moist and also keep drinking something warm because I'm still have a bit of a lingering cough, but I'm well enough that I can be taking part in this now. So... Those are permanent quests. Go back to... Let me go back, try going back to the embassies, try and turn that in. Um, that one's at the hospital. At least I turn in at the moment. Um, Arlevant's actually no longer there, so that's permanent. Go talk to Tolly if I can find her. And talk to my lady. Hello, Shepard. Any new dialogue? Nice to see you. Not much. Okay. You wish to name the first aspect. There has to be some way for us to get more medical supplies. I told you already. We have nothing to spare. Tally saved the citadel <clears throat> a couple years ago. Watch your tone. You're right. We're all on edge right now, but we don't have enough medical. Back my own. Needs. We can't help your people right now. I'm sorry. Damn it. Thank you for trying to help. So less about successing, successfully helping the Aquarians, and more just whether you're a dick to your crew or not. So is Miranda up over this way? Yes, I had a Miranda. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I like to think I've earned your trust. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. You'll have your access, Miranda, but I don't like the sound of this. I know, and thank you. It means a lot. If you need it. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away All at All right. Me. Confess. <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never that isn't quite how I wanted to phrase it, project. but that'll work. Blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. So basically, you he very nearly can perform the same sins your right father did. My bloody DNA. After I got out of there, 
I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. <laughs> Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how, but you brought me back. I believe the, I believe the method, the, how, she, how they did it was so science! Better. I just wanted or should to I say, know I science? That chip. <sighs> you can't keep beating yourself up. That works. Past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Now you guess my fancy genetics can't. Now, if there. what you do have control over no. is inviting me and my many, many guns to help you okay. if you need help rescuing your I sister. Hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Now, again, if you need guns, you, you have my number. All right, so I need to head to the hospital. To drop off that treatment. Spectre status recognized. Please select one moment, please. Someone probably there can probably use the bloody thing. Either there are in the refugee camps. Now arriving at Square Turn Memorial. All right, Doctor Salon is in two. Or dialogue with this. The prisoners were indoctrinated. I think. And once the alarm was sounded, me and Ira's eyes were black the whole time, not just for a second. Feel her mind from where I was standing. And the humans were in the way, attacking us. I used my biotics, flung them around. I'd been horrified when Naira tore the farmers apart, but gods, I ripped them in half. And it felt good. There's nothing shameful about feeling an adrenaline rush. I wish they're making time. eye contact with each other. I killed more than Naira and those husks did. She wanted them alive, to turn them, and I. And you survived. Like, the performances, the voice acting performances here are good, but the CGI acting performances, particularly the fact that they're not looking at each other, they're just kind of looking at a point about right here. Doesn't work. So one of you is the doctor I can give the treatment stuff to. There's got to be something. I don't I came across this treatment plant mm. at a chemical plant. Could it help? Mm. Treatment? What is mm. I've never seen this kind of process before. Huh. <laughs> Probably experimental. It's a long shot, but let's run some tests and see if it might work for our patient. Alright, and save some lives. Something else? Alright, no, no new dialogue. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. It's so true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Alright, let's go.
Do the embassies again. Mute this without making a big loud noise. Sorry about that. There's somebody here I'm supposedly able to turn this thing into. There it is, a sorry war strategist. Excuse me. I'm Commander Shepard. If you promise to be careful, I've got something for you. A Reaper code fragment? Yes, I can use this to try to predict their strategic processes. We might be able to save a few worlds with this, Commander. Thank you. All right. All right, so there's that. What's left? I noticed. Okay. Alright, she's at Purgatory. They're at Purgatory. Alright, so. The ones that I needed the Presidium Common. New turn of the same comments they don't have yet. I don't have yet, so but those people weren't highlighted. So check purgatory. One is at Fort Memorial isn't available yet. Check RPG camp. Okay, so <clears throat> Let's check Purgatory and then status. One moment, please. check the uh, refugee camp and then head out. It was Ariatolok. He joke it looks like the people aren't here yet. Or rather, I don't have the items to get this quest yet. Okay. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. And refugee camp. Hmm. New dialogue option. Commander, thanks for coming. This must be really hard on your sister. I'm very sorry for her loss. It's tough to see her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. I hope Sarah can find ah. some peace here. Okay, family storyline stuff. I'm glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about her family. Wanted Thomas to hear it. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. 
She's no career soldier, but she can probably hear she you. Coping with all this reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he put a smile on his face for us. Your family made you what you are. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. Your sister's waiting. You'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Okay. Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training? Okay, so that Dr. Cortez. Are you okay? I've just been standing here holding this for I don't know how long. He'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. Well, this is a, a modeling episode. Bye, Robert. I'm glad you came. I wonder if you get a male character, this be a man hug situation. And let's <clears throat> go see what James is doing. Oh, Zed is over here. Hang on. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. I can afford that gun mod. I'm not going to use that uh, helmet upgrade, but I'm definitely going to use that pick use have that shotgun mod just for those characters who want it. I want it, but who I can equip it on. So Zaid is back over here somewhere. Oh, there you are. What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I just talked to him and watched him talk some smack, and now we got Zaid Masani as a as a war asset. You know, for a guy with a Middle Eastern name like you know Zaid, he's kind he's pretty white looking. James, you're really fleecing refugees. Have to say anything, but I'm about to make my comeback. James, I hope you're deliberately losing. Either your luck is terrible, either that or man, you're trying to win money against refugees who don't have much, which is kind of a dick move. All right, let's let's head out. <clears throat> now arriving at docking bay B twenty four. And what else can we turn stuff into? So. 
let's get ready to make her departure. Hey, keep her. I have a little brother. He went off planet to try and make money, hung with a lousy crowd. A week before the Reapers, my brother sent me this excited message. He'd found an organization with lots of pay, benefits. Cerberus. He snuck me a photo of the shiny new armor they gave him. White and yellow armor. Damn. Also, white and yellow, really? That that that's the armor for your jack for your jack booted fascists. It's good to know that over the millennia the Nazis are getting worse and worse in terms of their style and design substance. Nowadays you have Lust's face with his Bohawk isn't the right word. It's it's it appears to be like Richard what's his name with it appears to be a Mohawk cut, but he decided it's too much work to moose it up and just let it flop over, which is just pathetic. Okay, so opportunity to chat with Steve next um, next time I'm back to Citadel. Likewise. Alright. Let's take a look at our war assets real quick. And then we'll do our priority mission. Are we done? I, mean, I installed this game to the hard drive, so I'm presuming that the reason that's there is to mask some uh, loading. All right. Krogan, Krogan clans. Cacliosaurs up our right, up them by some. First of all, we have the Haptic Optics Array. A new user interface. I'm oh, sorry, Second Fleet. Reaper Code Fragment. Okay. In Alliance, we have Alliance First Fleet. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the chemical burns treatment. The rogue fighter pilots. Another 20 points brought together by Steve. Lieutenant Cortez. I still got more. Zaid Masani, 25, all by himself. <laughs> Alright, so... That's the uh, shore, that's the uh, refit itself, and then that's just the shore leave. Okay, and general aliens, we have... Defense Force.
the Book of Pleenix appears to be the main, the most recent edition there. All right, and with that, Shepherd Commander. I don't recall asking why it ended up with him being stuck in the, uh, as the, uh, relay thing. During our mission, confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back. Of course. That must have been nice. All right. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Okay. Batteries are apparently running low. I only got two bars left. You have the Rannoch priority mission left. I think what I'll do is I will st stop recording, st swap the batteries on the controller. And then we will... Now, last time we had downtime on the Citadel, well, we had we had the big party, which worked nicely, and we also had the ship nearly taken over by my evil duple duple ganger. All right, so stop recording.